Welcome. In the previous video we had presented matrix operations such as addition, multiplication, dot product and their applications. In this short video, we will be presenting of how to find the determinant of a matrix. Properties of determinants as well as special forms of matrices will be discussed that exhibit certain useful properties and have numerous applications in signal processing, machine learning and communications. In linear algebra, the determinant is a scale of value, that can be computed from the elements of a square matrix. The representation is shown where the symbol A is put between two vertical bars, and is a number, not a matrix. For a one by one matrix, the determinant is equal to the element value as shown in the left. The determinant of a two by two matrix is shown on the right. Each determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix is called a minor of the matrix A. This procedure can be extended to give a recursive definition for the determinant of an on by n matrix, known as Laplace expansion, where the determinant can be obtained with respect to any row or column. The elements of a given row or column multiplied with corresponding cofactor and summed together. The sign is obtained by taking minus 1 raised to the power of i plus j, where i is the row number and j is the column number. An example to find the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix with respect to the first row is shown. Please remember that cofactor expansion can also be done along the jth column. Generally, the determinant of n by n matrix is obtained in terms of the determinants of the n1 by n1 matrices as shown where the matrix A sub by j is n1 by n1 matrix formed by deleting the ith row and jth column of A. There's another method called the Saras rule. This method is applicable to 3 by 3 or higher order matrices. According to this method, for a 3 by 3 matrix, the first two columns are copied and placed on the right. Then two steps involved. In the first step diagonal and off diagonal elements are multiplied and added together to calculate S1. In the second step cross diagonal multiplication and addition performed to obtain S2. The difference of S1 and S2 is the determinant. Generally, for n by n matrix determinant, the first n1 columns are copied and the operations are performed for full diagonals. For two square matrices A and B, and non-zero constant K, the behavior can be seen. These are important properties and can help simplify finding the determinants which are scalar quantities. Some important properties are very useful to find the determinant of a matrix. That is, the determinant of a matrix A is 0, firstly, if A has 0 row or column. Secondly, if matrix A has two or more similar rows or columns. And, finally, if a row or column is a multiple of another row or column. There are some special forms of matrices and symmetries that have useful applications in signal processing, image processing and communications. Like an identity matrix, if all the entries are zero except the diagonal, is called a diagonal matrix. An identity matrix is special case, where all the entries on the diagonal equal one. An exchange matrix J which is symmetric and is a useful one have cross diagonal elements as ones and zeros elsewhere. Note that, since J square is equal to identity matrix, then J is its own inverse. The effect of multiplying a vector V by the exchange matrix J is to reverse the order of the vector. This transformation has many applications in prediction and lattice filter implementations. Similarly if a matrix A is multiplied on the left by the transpose of J, the effect is to reverse the order of each column. Similarly, with right side multiplication, the order of entries in each row is reversed. Finally. The effect of product J transpose, A, J is to reverse the order of each row and column, thereby, reflecting each element of A about the central element. An upper triangular matrix is a square matrix having all entries below the diagonal equal to zero. 
A lower triangular matrix on the other hand have all of the entries above the diagonal equal to zero. The transpose of a lower triangular matrix is upper and vice versa. The determinant of a triangular matrix is equal to the product of the terms along the diagonal. The inverse of upper triangular matrix is an upper triangular matrix and same for the lower. The most popular in signal processing is the Toeplitz matrix having all of the elements along each of the diagonals have the same value. Note that all its elements are completely defined once the first row and the first column have been specified. A convolution or a correlation matrix is an example of Toeplitz matrix. A matrix with a similar property is a Hankel matrix which has equal elements along the diagonals which are perpendicular to the main diagonal. In the next video we will be presenting matrix inversion and linear system equations. Hopefully, you have enjoyed this short presentation. Please subscribe to the channel to have timely notifications for the new lectures presentations.